welcome back to Jim Cook Images, the only photography channel with 100% original background music that I know of. Last summer, I was asked by Ultimate Classic Rock to shoot Ario Speedwagon, Styx, and Loverboy at Blossom Music Center. While of course any opportunity like that's a great one, the exciting prospect for me was to shoot at Blossom, which is one of my favorite venues of all time. I mean, I can almost sit here and name for the entire length of this video all the bands that I've seen at Blossom and all the experiences I've had there. Just one that comes to mind is seeing an unknown Alice in Chains open for Van Halen and watching them get flipped off and booed by Van Halen's summer party crowd. Every memory at Blossom is a great one for me and this night just added to it. My old friend Matt Wardlaw picked me up for this one. Riding in his passenger seat to a show at Blossom is something we did all the time in the 90s so it was kind of a trip to be back in that spot again. Except this time he was going to review a show and I had a heavy bag of camera gear. Oh shit! A sudden downpour blocked the road, which, hey, at least everybody was late, but um, luckily Matt was in contact with the powers that be, so we were good when we got there. I felt pretty cool bypassing the line I've waited in so many times, but the deal was first three songs, no flash, for each band. Blossom's marketing gal led me and the other photographers down to the pit. Loverboy had already started. I had seconds to gear up and start shooting. Now, in my opinion, shooting from the pit is the best concert photo experience. Now, when you're right up in the pit, as opposed to being back by the soundboard, the lights are right in your face, so you have to think really fast, and I shoot in manual mode, so I'm riding the dials the entire time. Luckily, as a musician, I have a good intuition for what's coming up next. The guitar solo is going to be over there, and then bam, the spotlight goes over there. Here comes the slow part of the song. The lights are probably gonna go all blue, so I can kind of jump a little bit ahead. It's almost like you're jamming with the band. It's actually a really cool feel. This guy walked over and 100% gave me this shot. And it's nothing at all like being in the crowd. I'm often unaware of what songs I shot. I get completely engrossed in the photo work and have to look up the set list later to see what they even played. For security reasons, we had to run our bags all the way back up the hill. It was like 90 degrees out and the humidity was like 1,497. I think I drank most of the admin office's water cooler. <laughs> there was air conditioning up there and it was a chance to kind of say what's up to the other photographers. And before you know it, it's time to grab your stuff and go back down for the next band, which was REO Speedwagon. <laughs> Mario was the surprise hit for me of the night. I didn't realize that they rock so hard. I remembered their 80s kind of like ballad songs, but B3 organ and multiple guitars and harmonies and just uh, were a lot more up my alley than I anticipated. I was like, wow, this is really great. Because I was enjoying Ario Speedwagon so much, I wanted to catch the rest of the set with my buddy Wardlaw, so I actually ran back down the hill to my ticketed seat, caught the rest of their set, which I'm glad I did, and then ran back up the hill to get my photo gear, and then back down the hill with the other photographers to get ready for sticks. Now it's fully dark out and the crowd is pumped, or maybe drunk, or maybe both back into the pit and Styx really came out swinging, really ready to rock, shining smiles at the crowd. I mean, just bam, right out of the gate. Um, it's so much fun to shoot lifetime performers. Sammy Hagar's another one I've been lucky enough to shoot that comes to mind. These guys know their shit inside and out. They know their crowd. They know about the three song photo rule. So you'll see them play a song with a guitar, without a guitar, do a bunch of crowd work where they're pointing at the crowd and this kind of thing. It's almost like they treat the first three songs like a finale, and it's really something to watch, really awesome to shoot, and inspiring overall. These are real entertainers. These are real performers, and most of them have been doing it most of their life. It's 
pretty awesome to watch. Sticks had it full go, and as a guitarist myself, it was a treat to shoot Tommy Shaw. Sure, it's a concert for thousands, it's not a planned photo shoot, but you know, for all intents and purposes, these guys are in my camera viewfinder dressed, performing, with crazy lights on them. It's quite an experience. I got a chance to run down the hill one more time and catch Styx's set as an audience member. This is not a trippy effect. This is the humidity on my iPhone camera lens. As always, I was stoked to see my work published in the next few days. These are my top five images from the night. first concert photography experience at Blossom, hopefully not the last, and certainly a night I'll never forget. Thanks again to my buddy Matt Wardlaw and Ultimate Classic Rock for having me do this one. I hope you dug the look inside. The original background music you heard in this video was produced for this video, and you can check it out here. And subscribe if you're into this kind of thing, would you? If you're strong enough to click that button. I mean, are you strong enough? All right, see you next time.